If you could know where, how, or when you would die, which would you pick? Let's discuss. Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! It's a me, Dario! Woohoo! All right, so that question came down today during the Newly Show game. For those of you who don't know, I work for a radio station called Rock 105.3, and in it we play a game called the Newly Show game, which is basically like the Newly Wait game, except, you know, between the members of the show. <laughs> and so I asked the question, because I like asking difficult questions because it's fun for me. I, I asked them, what would you pick, or what do you think your partner would pick? Would they rather know the day they would die, or like when they die, how they're going to die, or where they're going to die? And I thought that was a very interesting question. And so I've been thinking about it a lot. Well, like, which one would I pick? Which one would I pick? And I've given this a lot of thought all day. All day. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It wasn't, it wasn't a very productive day. But uh, before I get into it, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um, let's debate it. I, I'm gonna, you know, what? I'm in the mood to argue with people. The other day, I got an argument in the internet with somebody because I was bored, and it was fun. But um, yeah, comments, questions, suggestions, you can find me at Dario the Show on Instagram or at Super Dario Period World. Uh, also, follow me on Facebook. Helps out. I, everything I do, I load it up there, so you can check everything out there. Uh, but okay, the question again: If you could know when you're gonna die, how you're gonna die, or where you're gonna die, which one would you pick? Time place or method which one would you pick and during the show i believe thor mentioned uh, he would pick what was it he picked he wants to know how he would die eddie would like to know where and so all right now let's break let's break each one of them down because like i said i've been thinking about this a lot a lot and so to me right off the bat the worst one and uh, we need to we we need to measure these as to how much useful information you're getting from each one, right? That's what's most important. How much valuable information am I getting from this, right? From this piece, how much is actually going to be helpful for me, and how much could I be tricked? And to me, it seems that the one that's the ones that are actually giving you valuable information is the where and the when. The how could be very tricky. For example, let's say how am I going to die? It could be, let's say, you you die from a gunshot. It's like, all right, well, that's not fucking helpful. <laughs> what am I supposed to? I could, I could die from a gunshot any day. Like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Or if it says, I don't know, you you die from the flu. It's like, well, well, that's not fucking helpful either. Like, I could die. I could get the flu now. Like, it's not really helpful information. Also, it could seriously fuck up your relationships. Let's say, for example, let's say it says, and you know, it depends on how much information they give you, right? Because it. Let's say you get murdered or you're killed. It's like, okay, that sucks. Then you makes, it makes you kind of paranoid with people, right? But what if it says, let's take it one step higher. Let's say if it says you get killed by a loved one. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> they, things get deeper and deeper. Or you know what? Let's say, for example, it says you're killed by your brother. Now, in my situation, I'm fucked because I have two brothers. And so... <laughs> I would be like, what the, uh, which one of these two sons of bitches is trying to get me? That's Hector, you son of a bitch. It's probably you. No, but it's Eric. He wants to take my computer and stuff. That son of a bitch. <laughs> and then, of course, in the back of your mind, you're always going to be like, one of these fuckers wants to kill me. And so you're going to be like, maybe I should take them out first. And then maybe because of that, they're like, dude, I think Dari's trying to kill us. Maybe we should take him out first. And that's how they kill you. Or maybe it's an accident. Maybe you're just riding in a car with them and... Uh, and they and they crash and and you died because of them and or maybe they accidentally give you something you're allergic to and they killed you. So the point is, there's too many variables, not enough useful information. Too many variables, and again, it could really limit and screw up your life. Let's say, for example, you die in a car crash. Well, what are you gonna, what are you supposed to do for the rest of your life? Avoid fucking cars. That's not going to help. Also, what if you could be in your house and a car could crash into your house and, and get you and you die? So it's not, again, not very useful, not very avo- avoidable. What if it says you drown? You drown. You're like, okay, well, I just won't go out swimming. You could drown in your fucking toilet. You can drive. You can drown in the shower. You can drive in the sink. You can drown in a fucking bowl of soup. All right? If you're stupid enough. So, again, the least useful information for me 
is the how. The how would be the less the least important of the two. So let's break down the other two. When and where. Now, the where is very useful in certain ways, but the point here is death is unavoidable, unavoidable, right? There's no way you can avoid death. So it doesn't matter how many plans you make, or I'll just avoid let's say let's say it says you, you die in Las Vegas, right? And so you're like, all right, well, I just won't go to Las Vegas. But then I don't know, you're 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 on a plane and it gets and it's flying over Vegas and it crashes in Las Vegas and you still die in Las Vegas. It makes no sense. Or I don't know, you have a, a heart attack somewhere and they fly you out to a hospital in Las Vegas because there's a specialist out there, but you're you you know you're you're no condition to actually complain about it and you die in a hospital there. So you can't really avoid that stuff. But let's say it's a little bit more spe- specific. Say so it says you die in a Burger King in Las Vegas. Well then, maybe you got kidnapped and get taken there, or for, or there's a million reasons how you would end up there. The point is, you will die in a, in a Burger King in Las Vegas. You will be taken there. You're not avoiding death. I guess you could avoid it for a little bit, but you can't avoid it forever. And again, it's all about how specific the information is. Like in that exact same scenario, if they just say you'll die in a Burger King, there's so many fucking Burger Kings out there. So many. <laughs> So you'd be fucked. You 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 might accidentally end up in one. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Or again, it it could be something that that's completely unrelated, but it just tricks you. Like for example, you might not. You might let's say in Las Vegas. It might actually be I don't know a restaurant called Las Vegas or a hotel called Las Vegas or something, and it's and it's not really in Las Vegas. So again, it could be really tricky. Fate has a way of messing with you, and. uh and so it could really screw you over. Now, on the other hand, when you would die, the exact day can also screw you over. Let's say, for example, um, oh, I, my kid brother makes this argument. It's like, no, if you know when you're going to die, that means that you're immortal until that day. And I'm like, not exactly. Because let's say, for example, you say, you know you're going to die, let's say, what, what, what day is it today? February 24th, 2050, right? 2050, so you still got 30 years, exactly, 30 years to the day. But tomorrow, uh, you could get a brain aneurysm, and then you're in a coma for the next 30 years. So effectively, effectively, you'd be dead today. So just because you live a long life doesn't mean you would, li- you would live a good one, especially if you think walk around thinking you're fucking immortal. Like you could, uh, there's fates, there's actual fates that are worse than death. Like that's an expression for a reason. You might end up in jail. End up in uh, in uh, solitary for the rest of your life, solitary confinement, and and you'll live eighty years in there, which would suck. Um, you could, I don't know, uh, get uh, some kind of brain damage, and you're just brain damaged for the rest of your life, like eighty years brain damage. You could you could lose all your limbs, you could lose your ability to speak, you could get uh, so many things, you could get burned alive, and then live in horrible pain for the rest of your life. Their fate's worse than death, but you would know when. So. There's pros and cons to all of these, right? I, I kind of laid them out. So, if I'm thinking about it, there's one that you can actually counteract. And that would be, in a way, um, the time one. So, for example, let's say, like, I told my kid brother. And he's like, oh, well, you, you could be in a coma for 80 years or 30 years or whatever. Unless you write down a living will that says, um, do not resuscitate or... Uh, do not, uh, yeah. If or if I'm in a coma, um, p- unplug me immediately, right? That would be one way of diverting that because if the doctors will unplug you immediately if you're in a coma and you're not supposed to die that day, that means that you won't. So if you're in a situation where you would be in a coma, uh, you would get out of it again if you're following the rules of fate or whatever. So I guess that would be one way of diverting that, but every single thing else still applies like the still the the being uh, losing all your limbs um uh, being burned burned alive and be living a horrible pain for the rest of your life getting brain damage those would still apply but at least you could avoid the coma one which i think is the worst one imagine just living 80 years in a bed like oh, actually that sounds pretty cool but <laughs> not in a good way at least the other ones you would still get to have some kind of interaction with the world it wouldn't 100% be you but you still be doing stuff i don't know it would not be cool but if i'm thinking about it and again i kept thinking about it long and hard pros and cons pros and cons really honestly if we're thinking about it dying is gonna suck either way right doesn't matter if you know how when where it's gonna suck and so you can't 
the, the knowing how, when, or where should not actually be a limiting factor. It should be an enhancing factor. The information should enhance your life in some way. So to me, two of those limit you and one enhances your life. So the thing that the, for example, knowing where you're going to die limits you because you'll, you'll do your best to avoid those places because you don't want to go there because you know you might die. Like, again, if you know you're going to die in a Burger King, you're never going to go to a Burger King again unless unless you want to die, I guess, which is <laughs> which is possible. But you'd try to your best to avoid it, right? You'd be like, fuck Burger King, man. You're out of it. So you're limiting your life. You're, you're living in fear of the Burger King. Um, if you know how you're going to die, you would live in fear of getting that. Like, again, let's say, for example, you will get, you'll die in a car crash. You know you'll die in a car crash. And so you'll do your best to avoid cars for the rest of your life. Again, you're living in fear. However, if you know when you're going to die, you at least, again, you could still have live a face, faith, fate worse than death. But you would at least, you would at least have a certain peace of mind of knowing when it is. And uh, you don't have to avoid anything because you can't avoid time. Time's inevitable. And also, it might actually focus you and make you appreciate your life more. It, you might be like, if you know you have 20 years, be like, okay, I have 20 years to leave my mark on this world. I have 20 years to actually make my life worth I have 20 years to make, make something on myself. You would actually have a timeline. And I think humans actually operate really well when they have a time limit. Like I know for myself, I, this is when, when I'm going against the clock. I'm the most efficient and the most effective. And every single day, you're going against the clock. You see that timer going down, and you're like, "Oh shit, yo shit, I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done. I gotta, I gotta make something valuable." It makes you appreciate time a little bit more. And then again, that got me thinking that why the fuck did I just do that now? Why the fuck? <laughs> why the fuck do I need to know when I'm gonna die in order for me to actually like get my shit together and get things going? So, in a way, even just thinking about it helped me out. Also, you have time to have get your affairs in order. You have time to say goodbye. You have time to say thank you, which is very important. You have th- time to tell people you love them. You have time to, to, well, you know how much time you have. So I think if you add all of these things up, by far the best one, the one that I would pick, is knowing when you would die. Because it's the one that would actually give you a net benefit. The others would just take away. They would make you live in fear. This one might actually even make you a little bit fearless. But that's just me, and I'm arguing with nobody. So hopefully anybody out there in the internet agrees. And uh, any, like I said, any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me at Dar the Show on Instagram or at Super Dar Peer. Well, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why I'm right. Tell me what you think. If I change it, my movie, you were a war guy, and now you're a, you're a when guy. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, <laughs> As always, thank you for listening, and I'll see you again tomorrow.